Hey friends, I wanted to hop on real quick and talk about this Thursday's live stream. So we're going to be talking about troubleshooting machines again. You responded really well to the discussion we had on our machine trainer. And a lot of you asked, well, how can I practice troubleshooting at home? And I think that this is a great opportunity for us to use the machine sequence in live stream again. So you're going to have some homework to do before this one if you want to follow along. But right here is the live stream. And at least 295,000 of you as of today have said you really like this. So I'm actually just going to copy this. And then I'll put it down in the chat. So I'm just going to put machine sequencing. You guys know I can't talk and type at the same time. So machine sequencing live stream. And yes, go ahead. Oops, if I can spell stream. There we go. I got this. But go watch these right here, and then Thursday, we're actually going to go through them because, you know, we talk about just a little bit how it's a several different ways, but really, in that one, it gets you through. We have a green light. You press the green button. It goes to the yellow. We press the yellow. It goes to the red. This doesn't quite work because we actually put a time delay on it. And then we have the blue, and it just keeps resetting through. And I showed you... A lot of different ways to do that in this. So here are kind of the ones we had and just going down. And here's here's what I really want to stress in this is a lot of you complain, well, this time you didn't connect the components. This time you did it in Studio 5000. Oh, I only have Siemens. All but the last method, all but this sequencing method right here will work in almost any PLC. I'd almost argue every PLC. Do we have our basic move method? And I don't think can't think of a single PLC that wouldn't work in. Uh, we have the Move X10, which is kind of the one that we have. Um, and yeah, so go through as many of these as possible, and then yeah, we're going to talk through troubleshooting them. And that's all I wanted to hop on. I figured that was easier to just hop on and say that than try to explain it uh, in a long text there. But I will talk.